everybody, this is Praxis, and this might be the most important video in this entire Project Homestead series that I've ever shared with you guys. And it may seem kind of silly, but it is something that I learned about spray foam that is a total game changer. I'd never known it before. I've thrown out so many of these cans that were like half full because I used them for a little bit and then like more than a week or two went by and it cured right down into the can and you just couldn't get anything out anymore. Uh, it it kind of cures down the straw as you go and you can kind of take the straw and like clip, keep clipping the end off, making the straw shorter and shorter. And that's not a big deal, but once it gets down into the can, it's game over until I found out how to do this thing. Uh, this can here, I opened, it's gotta be like six months or, or so ago, and I tried something out, uh, you know, several weeks ago, and it worked, but I didn't wanna do a video yet because I wanted to be, make sure that I could repeat my success. I just did it again today. 100% repeated success. This is really awesome. What you do, if you wanna reuse one of these and it's cured all the way down into the can, is you take the straw off. And I, you know, the straw is a little bit of a wild card because uh, it is kinda of hard to clean the straw. But I find when I use a lot of these spray foam uh, cans, I'll use one and then I'll take the straw from that one and put it on the next open one. And I'll kinda of keep uh, using the same straw if I've got a big project. So oftentimes I'll save a lot of these straws. So that's something you should know. I, I do have back, back up extras of these straws that I, I can use. This is is specifically about uh, unclogging the can. If you've got the can and it is cured right in there, you just take a little drill bit that is just slightly smaller than the uh, the hole size. And as you can see I already did it. It's got some spray foam on the end here. And uh, I'm just gonna demo it. You just put the, the drill bit in and just very lightly, and you'll feel there's like a little plastic something at the bottom there. So you, you'll feel that you're kind of uh, drilling through this stuff and that's really it. I just unclogged it again. You do that, and at least two times in a row for me, every single time I've ever tried it, it completely unclogs the can. So, you're welcome. <laughs> I, I, you know, I was always like vexed by the idea of I would make, I have a list of spray foam projects I need in the house, and I wouldn't do any of them until I had enough of them to try to use up at least most of a spray foam can. Now I don't have to do that anymore. So what am I working on today? What I'm working on today is this door. It's an insulated door. It is going to go between the pantry and the hot room. I'm still dealing with issues of air leakage into the pantry where, you know, that hot room is is drawing air to for its exhaust, and there's the air going into the pantry, and it's just... It's still, it's really hard to keep that pantry cool. And I really want to get that pantry down to be like 50, 55 degrees. And now it's like, I'm fighting to keep it in the mid sixties with the air conditioner I got there. So I'm making a nice insulated door. It's going to have fuzzy edges around the edge. And the only thing I have to say about this is I'm going to be inlaying uh, some of this scrap spray foam, uh, not, not spray foam, scrap uh, 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 urethane foam panel stuff that I have. And uh, normally I would use a little handsaw, but I'm using a knife today because the knives uh, make a lot less mess on the ground. And with us having the chickens, I don't want little bits of foam everywhere because the chickens eat that stuff. So uh, if you ever wanted to cut the stuff and make less of a mess, use a nice clean chicken knife. It doesn't have to be uh, serrated or anything like that. Just a nice clean, sharp, thin kitchen knife. And, you know, not as easy as a saw, but it makes way less mess. That's it. Thanks for watching. And you're welcome about the spray foam cans. <laughs>